What's up everybody, Scissorhands back with another video. This time it's gonna be a trimmer review. It's actually a trimmer I've had my eyes on for for quite a while now. I, I ordered it back before the pandemic. My order got canceled because it was coming from China. It's a very cheap Chinese clipper. Um, and in this video, I'm just gonna unbox it, check out the build quality, see if the motor's strong, see what comes in the box, and see if just by looking at it, does it stack up to clippers I've used throughout my barber career? See if it stacks up to the one clip, one clipper I use now. I actually have a very small arsenal. I don't like having a lot of clippers. I'm a minimalist. So I have one trimmer, one shaver, two clippers. Those two clippers are basically the same. They just have two different blades on them. Um, I may make another video reviewing how it cuts. And then if I like it, I might see if I could do any modifications to it and make another video to see how I made it better. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so to be honest, I ordered this from eBay. And the brand on the eBay ad said Kiemi is how you say it. I believe it's spelled K-E-M-E-I. But they make a, different, a bunch of different models. So that's what I ordered, and that is not what I received. Even though the clipper looks identical, the packaging is different than what was advertised, and the brand seems to be different, but it looks to be the same clipper. Um, this clipper was $15, which compared to this guy, that is a significant price dis difference, you know? So this is my main trimmer. This is all I use. I don't use any other trimmer. I do everything with this trimmer right here. I don't have more than one. I just have this one. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it's uh, comparable. So let's unbox it. Sharp ceramic head, stainless steel blade. Comes with combs, comes with oil, comes with a brush. All right, let's see. Okay, you get the USB cable. I kind of like that it charges USB. Um, I think that's something that these these uh, name brands can be doing now. I feel like these big bulky uh, chargers are irrelevant now that everything's rechargeable and lithium batteries and stuff. Um, Cable could probably be a little longer, but it is pretty generic plug. Very short cable, definitely could use a longer cable, but I do like that it charges USB. We'll see. Let's see what else it comes with. It comes with the brush, like it said on the box. You have your instructions. That definitely looks different than the clipper, but Chinese stuff. Comes with some guards. Just a couple of guards that most trimmers come with. And no oil like the box says but that's all right. I didn't expect less from $15, so. Let's see what this clipper looks like. So, right off the back, taking it out, the weight feels good. It feels like solid metal. It feels very, very solid, actually. It feels way more solid than this. The weight, it's about the same. I'd say this one's a little bit heavier because the body's metal for sure. Definitely metal. I like that it's slim. Um, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see I do a lot of design work. Um, this blade's a little wider. I wonder if I can slap this blade on here. It's wider, more like a T-outliner. But I like 
the skeleton look. That's why I ordered it because this trimmer is nice and it's my favorite trimmer and it cuts way better than the box says. The box says for light duty use only, but I do everything with it. Um, the only problem I have with the old style clippers is when you're shaving, the hair gets pushed down into the body and builds up. So you have to take your clippers apart. People dip them in, in clipper cleaner and stuff, but I take mine apart and I get all the hair out of it. Um, make them brand new again. But that's one thing I like about this skeleton look. You're not gonna get hair inside the body of the clipper and you're gonna be able to maintain your blade, keep it more sanitary, keep, it, keep hair and debris from building up in it. And it's much easier to clean. Um, on the back side, you have the charger, just like you have the charger here. The only thing I don't like that I see already is that the on switch is at the bottom. But I do like the way it feels. It feels really good. It feels like I could really get in and do designs like a little pencil, you know? That's nice. But all in all, they're about the same length. Uh, like I said, the blade's a little bit wider. Not by much, but a little bit. The only thing I don't like that I see already is the switch. This switch is much easier to access when I'm cutting to turn it on and off to conserve battery. This one I have to maneuver my hand and get down to the bottom. But it feels solid, surprisingly. Very, very solid. Um, what I could see already out of the box is that one of the screws has been stripped. This one here, I don't know if you could see it that good. One's good, one's stripped like like they jumped the screwdriver when they were putting it together. But let's cut her on. Sounds good. Sounds actually way more quiet than my slimline. <laughs> you hear the difference? I don't know if you can in the video, but wow. Let me turn this off. All right. Turn this one back on. Probably can't even hear it come on. So much quieter. So another thing I like to do is I like to turn it on and you could kind of put your finger on the blade and you could kind of feel how strong the motor is. You can't really cut it off, it'll keep pushing. Let's see if this one does it. Yeah, it feels strong. It doesn't bog out too much. That's promising. What I noticed too is you can't zero gap this blade. It's very, very close already. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's almost zero gapped already. Some people probably like it like that. Um, I have a light hand when I'm cutting. I don't press really hard, so I do like mine zero gapped really, really tight. And it helps me helps me get sharper lines. Um, but if you're heavy handed, I don't recommend zero gapping it as much because if you press harder, it's easier to bite or leave like burn lines on the client. You don't wanna do that. But all in all, there's not much to review yet. I'm, I'm telling you that build quality feels great. It'd be nice if there was a button here, but for $15, so far, so good. Other than that strip screw, the, the quality looks really good. From looking at it, it looks like I can put an Andis blade on it. Um, maybe one that I can zero gap more. That would be nice. Finish looks good. Not too many flaws. So loud so loud compared to it i never cared because i like the wireless so much but wow so quiet it's smooth it, the vibration is less um if i can't fit andis blades on this and i can't zero gap it more 
and I do like the way it cuts, I'll probably just use it on kids because kin kids' skin is, is more sensitive to the clippers. And if you're not careful, you can nick them. The clippers will bite them, little little blood marks. So I may dedicate this to kids if it, if it cuts good and it doesn't bite. But all in all, so far, I like it. If I can get it to cut anything like this one, I'll like it just because I can keep it cleaner. You know, for those people that do like to dip their clippers in clipper wash, there's no electronics from here down. So you could dip this whole thing in and clean it and just let it run and it wouldn't affect the clipper and then dry it out. Some of, some of the barber shops, you know, you have the air compressor so you could blow out the, the clipper cleaner so they don't stay wet, oil them up and they're good. Um, again, I really, really like the option for USB charging. Um, you draw less power. You see that red light? I'm out of camera. Let's see if I can move it over. There you go. Red light charging. I'm sure it turns green when it's full. But hope you guys like this review. Uh, next review will be me using it on a client. And we'll see how it goes from there. Um, this is only my first clipper review. I do not plan on doing reviews on name brand clippers. I only plan on doing reviews on... I'd say no name since I ordered technically a name brand and it didn't come. It came like unbranded. So we'll say no name Chinese clippers to compare because I believe the technology in this clipper comes from China and they just brand it. So hope you guys like this review. Maybe it'll uh, make you guys order one of these. I say it's worth it for $15. You might as well. It's uh, better for somebody that's not a barber, not using it for professional use. You know, you get something like this and use it on yourself in between cuts and stuff like that. Uh, something cool to have, easy to maintain, easy to keep clean. Um, that's it. That's all I can say for now. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. Um, give me some feedback. If you guys seen any Chinese clippers you'd like me to review, you know, let me know and I'll take a look at them and see if it's worth me placing an order and reviewing them but like i said all in all looks comparable so far like share subscribe see you guys next time